welcome back let's continue chapter number 5 of your reader book in the previous video we have read about chakravyu that was created by abhimanyu's enemies and he was trapped trapped means caught unable to move kabaddi is a game of breath control raiding and dodging a player raids the opposing team tries to touch an opponent and return to his or her team all the while chanting kabaddi kabaddi and holding the breath at the asian games so far india has always won gold in kabaddi chanting here means saying repeatedly you keep saying repeatedly kabaddi kabaddi and you have to hold your breath and you have to touch and come back touch the members of other team and come back so it's a game of breath control raiding raiding means uh, to go in the another area of your opposing team and dodging means uh, avoiding by moving quickly right another popular sport dating back at the, to the ancient times is wrestling the mahabharata mentions duryodhan and bhim as accomplished wrestlers so one of the games is wrestling also so wrestling uh, means uh, when two persons they fight with uh as a especially as a sport by holding each other right so this suppose this sport dating back in the ancient times means it was also in the ancient time uh, you can see uh, example of uh, this when duryodhan and bhim they fought and they were uh, both as accomplished wrestlers the most famous freestyle version of wrestling in india is kushti so it is known as kushti which symbolizes bravery and strength so it is a symbol of one's strength and its bravery so pehlwans or wrestlers generally practice in akharas so where they used to practice that place is known as akhara or wrestling schools and dangals i hope you uh, you have or you all have watched this movie dangal and you can see wrestling uh, uh, one of the res, uh, player known as uh, uh, geeta geeta fogat right so annual village competitions decide a new champion every year so it was it was held every year and a new player a new champion was declared every year many indian wrestlers such as sushil kumar geeta fogat and babita kumari have gained international fame and become the face of indian wrestling so international fame fame means a state of being a known popular and become the face of indian wrestling in india in india sports also has a role in the celebration of festivals so it is it in india it plays a key role when it is when we are talking about the celebration of different kinds of festivals you can take example of kite flying here or patangbazi the other name for kite flying is patangbazi played passionately by the nobility during medieval times now marks many joyous occasions in india nobility it was played passionately passionately means with strong feeling or belief by the nobility means a people belonging to high class a class of people of high rank during medieval period we have in history you have you will study about medieval history also you will come to know now marks many joyous occasions in india occasions means uh when we have 
gathering and we celebrate those special festivals the international kite festival is held every year in gujarat during makar sankranti so makar sankranti it is the beginning of new year in india and on this day the international kite flying festival is held in gujarat on 15 august the sky is dotted with kites means it is full of kites dotted with kites mean you can see many kites number of kites as people celebrate independence day so we enjoy this festival and we can see kites in the sky kite battles are also held where one kite flyer entangles the string of his or her kite around another's and tries to cut it so we enjoy this festival we we want to cut the string of the other kite that you can see in the sky and when you cut it it will give you pleasure that you have won some games are played for pure enjoyment gilli danda for example earlier i have told you about gilli danda in the, right in the beginning of the chapter it is said to have originated during the mauryan period so during the rule of mauryan period you must have heard about chandragupta maurya so during the mauryan period this game was very famous and it was played for amusement for enjoyment for player it is similar to cricket but uses the gilli a small piece of wood tampered at the ends and the danda a short stick the gilli is hit with the danda and if the fielding team succeeds in catching the gilli the striker is out the striker means the one who is playing else the distance between the starting point where the gilli lands is measured with the danda the team with the highest score wins so they either they striker is out or the mayor the starting point bit the distance between the starting point and the point where the gilli lands right a very popular game among children in rural india means in villages it is also played in nepal as dhandi bhio and in iran as alak dholak so it is called by different names in different countries another game popular among children is kit kit or stapu i hope you must have heard about stapu also simple yet tricky it tests the player's skill at balancing and aiming i have told you about kit kit also that the player it has to balance on one leg and hop from one end of the grid to the other and back again without losing its balance a player has to toss a stone or a marker on a numbered square and hop on hop on one leg from one end of the grid to the other and back again without losing balance this continues till the player reaches the last square and completes the lap successfully the game is played as hopscotch in england and asagat in france so it is called by different names in england and in france also it is played there also most of these games require the full involvement of one's body and mind so children this is only not that one's body is required there your mental alertness is very important you have to be alert in these games however a game like chess can only be won with the strategies of a sharp mind so in chess you need not to use your physical strength but there you have to you have to keep your mind alert you have to uh, you have to play that game with strategy today today india prides itself 
on the feats of former world chess champion Vishwanathan Anand and Grandmaster Konaro Hampi. Incidentally, the pride also lies in the fact that the game is said to have originated in India. The thing that is more important that, uh, that this game is said to be started in India first. Ancient texts like the Ramayana and the Mahabharata call the game Chaturanga. So this game was known as Chaturanga in early ancient time. According to the Persian poet Ferdowsi, an Indian king sent a Chaturang board to the king of Persia from where the game spread to the rest of the world. So, it was started in India and spread in the whole world. When a Persian poet Ferdowsi, he wrote in his poem that, that the, one of the Indian king sent this Chaturang board in Persia. These traditional games are a significant part of our cultural heritage. So it is a part of our cultural heritage. We play them to exercise our body and mind, to test our agility and skill and most importantly to have fun. So we play these games to keep our mind fit, our body fit and for even for our entertainment or pleasure also. But these games also contain in them the spirit of our history. So it is, it is also, it also contains that spirit that is passed from one generation to another. They may not inspire the king of frenzy that games like cricket easily do, but they carry forward our legacy and give us our identity. So, children, so these games, these are not inspiring us the kind of excitement like cricket, but they do have importance and they carry forward our legacy, means our tradition, our heritage from one generation to another and give us our identity. Identity here means specification, you can say, or uh, the fact of being who or what a person or thing is. So it passes our legacy, forward our legacy, our tradition and give us our identity. Thank you.